People are very frightened of snakes. And in India, we have almost 300 different kinds of snakes. Most are absolutely harmless, like this beautiful vine snake. But there are some very deadly snakes in India, and they kill thousands of people. These bites are accidents, and they can be avoided. There are 15 species of Indian snakes that have killed humans. But just four of them account for the majority of snake bite deaths in India. Knowing the habits of these snakes and taking steps to avoid accidental encounters with them can save many, many lives. Close to 50,000 men, women and children die in rural India from snake bite every year. The four species of snakes that cause most of the bites are Russell's viper, cobra, crate and saw-scaled viper. Snake bite is a problem that can be solved by learning about the snakes and how to avoid them. With its raised hood, the cobra is the universal symbol of a deadly venomous snake. With a neurotoxic venom and a bite that can inject enormous quantities of it, the cobra ranks as one of the deadliest snakes in India. But in spite of their bad reputation, cobras are actually frightened of us. When met face to face, they do everything they can to scare us. By spreading its hood, the snake appears larger and menacing, a clever attempt to scare you. It isn't trying to attack, it is trying to say, leave me alone. If making itself look bigger doesn't work as a scare technique, the cobra pulls an ace trick. It's deadly strike. But in truth, the strike is often a harmless sham. A slow motion shot reveals the hidden truth behind the strike of a cobra. Often when striking, a cobra keeps its mouth closed, a sure sign that it has no aggressive intention. It is actually a quick harmless tap on the leg to give a clear warning message. In spite of the cobra's intimidating appearance, their natural instinct is to shy away from humans. They avoid us whenever they can. When they don't perceive us as a threat, they simply slip away. Cobras thrive in agricultural fields where their favorite prey, rats, are plentiful. For rats, these crop fields are a happy hunting ground for easy food, and they dig their burrows along the buns. Cobras are attracted by the rats and also move into the fields. Fields become snake bite danger zones because of this. Most rural homes are close to crop fields. Having cobras residing close by can lead to problems. Rats come into homes in search of food, and where food is available in plenty, they become permanent residents. And where there are rats, cobras will follow. When snakes find that prey is plentiful, they tend to forage in the same area. They track rats and other prey using their keen sense of smell. 
And once a venomous snake takes up residence close to humans, there is a chance of an accident. Cobras are shy of humans, and their first instinct is to hide from them. They will find the nearest safe place that they can feel secure in. The snake is actually trying to keep safe, but unfortunately this can lead to a situation where an unsuspecting human can encounter it. For the cobra, a human hand that gets closer and closer is a threat that has not heeded its warning. However, the person is totally oblivious to the presence of the snake. Most accidental encounters with cobras inside buildings happen in the same sequence of events. Rats enter buildings in search of food and cobras follow them. To reduce accidents with cobras, especially in human habitations, people need to take action against rats. Keeping the home rat-free takes away any attractant for snakes like cobras. The saw-scale viper may be the smallest of India's four deadliest snakes, but it is extremely common in some areas and has very toxic venom. When approached too close, they can strike with lightning speed. Saw-scale vipers are found in open, dry areas where they forage for insects, small rodents, and reptiles. When frightened, saw-scale vipers coil up like a jalebi and hiss by rubbing their rough scales together. Their small size makes it difficult to see them hiding in the grass or under leaves. Being a very small snake, people tend to underestimate their lethality. But don't be fooled, this is a very dangerous snake. In places where saw-scaled vipers are common, unwary children playing outdoors can be at risk. The best way to avoid being bitten by a saw-scale viper is to look carefully where you put your hands and feet while working in the field and by using a torch at night. Crates are shy, timid snakes of the night. They may not appear as dramatic or intimidating as the cobra and the Russell's viper, but their venom is the most potent of all Indian snakes. Crates are completely nocturnal, foraging for small snakes and geckos amongst rubble and close to buildings. They sometimes enter homes in search of rats and mice. Look for the regular thin white bands. That's a crate. Other harmless snakes may resemble crates. Leave them all alone. 
People accidentally step on crates when they walk in the dark without a torch. But there are also numerous reports of a strange scenario that results in tragic human deaths. Crates sometimes crawl close to sleeping humans, perhaps while searching for rodents, and the result of this behavior is chilling. The sleeping person, without realizing there is a snake next to him, may accidentally roll over on it. The snake may bite the person, but unlike bites from other venomous snakes, the person feels little or no pain. Without even realizing they are bitten, many have died in their sleep. The best precaution against crate bite accidents is to create a physical barrier when sleeping on the floor, especially outdoors. The easiest way is to use a well-tucked-in mosquito net. It is comfortable enough to sleep in and can also protect you from a fatal snake bite. India's most deadly snake is the Russell's viper. Its large size, long fangs, and toxic venom make it a formidable snake. It is probably responsible for most snake bite deaths in India. Russell's viper is sometimes mistaken for a harmless sand boa or python. People have picked them up and handled them a deadly error that can prove fatal. Russell's viper can be distinguished by the characteristic chain-like pattern of markings on its back. Vipers are sit-and-wait predators. They rely on their camouflage to hide in the leaf litter. They wait motionless for potential prey like birds and rodents to walk close to them. Then they attack with a lightning strike. It is very difficult to detect a Russell's viper hidden in leaf litter. To stay safe, avoid walking in thick leaf litter, especially in areas that are known to have Russell's vipers. A clean pathway that is free of leaf litter is a safe path for people to walk on. Russell's vipers are active at night. A dangerous snake like this, moving through the night, poses a threat to people walking around after dark. Unfortunately, in most rural areas, people are so familiar with their surroundings, they often walk around without a torch. In areas where Russell's vipers are found, this is suicidal. The majority of Russell's viper victims are bitten at night, when they step on one because they couldn't spot it in the dark. For people living with Russell's vipers as neighbors, Using a light when walking outdoors at night can make the difference between life and death. A low-cost rechargeable LED torch can prevent most snake bites in rural areas. In India, we live with snakes. And a few precautions can keep you safe. Watch where you walk and where you put your hands. Keep rats away from your home. And always use a light at night when you walk. 
It's that simple. Now you know how to avoid snake bite. But if you are accidentally bitten, go to hospital and get antivenom.